YouTube, what's up? It's Rad Ricky, and I've been getting a lot of a lot of questions lately. If I got a Supra, full to answer your question, take a look for yourself. I did pick up a Supra. Um, all right, so about the Supra, um, I'm gonna just show you guys real quick, so you guys could take a look at it. So it's a 95 Supra MK4 hard top. Needs some work, but I didn't want to get one that's all done up. I'll show you guys the inside. All the interiors here, headliner, back seats, everything's there. That fighter jet. I'm gonna do the little review inside the Supra. Um, so story behind it. This was um. Some of you know I was working at a performance shop that was mainly for Supras and 2JZ swaps. Um, so the story behind this one is a customer wanted work done on this one. It had a 2JZ GTE twin turbo, um, not the stock twin turbos, it was Grady twin turbo. And um, yeah, so he blew the engine, engine was bad. Um, I pulled the engine out, I pulled the tranny out, I've done all the work on this car. It had a body kit, it had other rims, um, it had Sparco seats, um, let's see, just a, a bunch of little things, it was a, it was a pretty good car. Um, but, so I built, I rebuilt a 2JZ mortar, and we were going to slap it in this customer decided to go another route or something and decided to sell the car so so the customer decided to sell the car and I never thought I was gonna I was gonna buy it I always thought about buying it but I never thought I was gonna own it you know um, asking price was a lot I mean supers are rare they're hard to find um, and it was just sitting in the shop for a cool minute. So it just sat in the shop for a cool minute. And I don't know, I guess long story short, um, I guess I ended up buying it. I talked to the owner, came up with a good deal. And now I own a Supra. Um, but yeah needs a lot of work to to get it where I want to be but I mean it has potential I have a lot of plans for it um, here's the front um, my plan for it I kind of want another bumper I don't know if I'm going really to it um, I'm going to get a complete, complete paint job done I'm gonna get the engine bay painted. Um, I'm gonna get different side skirts. I'm gonna get this dent fixed. I'm gonna get these plugged up. I'm not gonna run a wing for a bit. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of plans for this car. But it's gonna be a daily slash drift it's not gonna be a drift car I'm not gonna gut out the interior just yet maybe later on down the road but as of now it's just gonna be a daily so yeah that's the whole story behind the Supra first Supra one of my dream cars um, yeah there's really not much to say I didn't think I was gonna own it Hard top. I like I like the fact that it's a hard top. I like I like the 
the other style too, the target tops, but I'm happy I got a hard top. Um, but yeah, I guess you never know what to expect. You get the, it's always like, what's that saying? Expect the unexpected or something like that. I didn't expect to own a Supra or buying this Supra. But it was always just calling my name, always in the shop, just there. I would sit in it and just think like, hmm, should I buy it, should I buy it? And an opportunity came, had to get rid of my bike. And I'm bikeless now, but I got a super, sh it's not running, but it will one day. But as of now, it's gonna sit. I'm gonna save up some money. Um, so you might not see so many super videos, but as soon as I get some money flowing, parts coming in, you'll see a lot of videos in the whole process. Um, yeah, other than that, that's the story behind the Supra. Thank you guys that subscribe, like my video, share, and do all that stuff. Um, also, thank you to my Twitter followers. You guys are dope. Unlike my Instagram followers. But, yeah. Follow me on Twitter and, and Instagram. Subscribe, like, and share. Tag a friend. And let's see how this super build goes. Thanks. Yeah.